Hi, and welcome to this course on managerial economics for SMU's Master's in Data Science degree program. My name is Tim Salmon. I'm professor of economics in our economics department and director of our doctoral program. So the nature of uh, the course that I'm going to be teaching to you this semester is a little bit different than many of the other courses in our program. Most of the other courses in this uh, degree program are aimed at teaching you how to analyze and present data. The point of this class is going to be a little bit different. It's intended to teach you about thinking about how to make decisions on the basis of that data analysis. In this course, we're going to be developing a lot of different tools from a, a standard economist toolkit uh, and applying them to managerial decision making. We're going to cover a range of topics, including pricing strategies, uh, approaches to gaining competitive uh, advantage over other firms, and designing compensation mechanisms for employees and how to participate in auctions and many other uh, related things. Okay, now the first part of this course is gonna focus mainly on the tools from classical economics. This involves building up models of both the supply and demand side of the market. We're gonna talk about how to model consumer demand as well as how to use the knowledge about consumer demand uh, to uh, make better decisions on the, on the behalf of firms. We're also going to talk about the producer side of the market, in which we'll gain a better understanding of the cost structures from firms and a lot of different advanced pricing schemes. Okay? While the tools of uh, classical economics are useful, those tools are not, do not enable us to deal with a lot of situations that are important to a lot of firms, which involve strategic interaction between firms. This is the domain of what would normally be referred to as modern economics through a field called game theory. The tools of game theory are going to allow us to uh, explore a number of different uh, issues involving strategic interaction among people and among firms. Uh, as part of this segment of material, we're also going to talk about a field known as mechanism design, which will tell us about how we can design incentive mechanisms to solve a variety of different problems inside of firms. Right? Now, in many economics degree programs that are specifically for econ degrees, these two different sets of tools are taught in different classes with a focus uh, generally on the development of these programs for evaluating uh, both business decisions and government policy related decision making. What we're going to be doing is taking the key components of both of these different sets of tools and applying them directly to uh, managerial decision making. So I'm going to try to uh, extract the most I can from each of these different sets of tools to teach you about uh, firm related decision making and things like that. Okay? So the structure of this course is that uh, every week you're going to watch many of the tape presentations by me. Uh, so I'm going to take you through a lot of the key uh, development of tools and techniques for certain types of problems. Then during the live online meetings, you'll be able to participate in discussions regarding how to apply these tools, uh, as well as uh, you know, ask any follow-up questions, and, uh, and there will also be a number of additional uh, elements of these tools explained to you during those sessions. Uh, grades from the course will come from a variety of sources. Um, there's going to be homeworks. Generally, there's going to be about one every week. There's going to be at least one midterm exam and a final exam. And your participation in the online discussion sections is also going to uh, be a factor in your final grade. The exact details of how all this will work will be discussed on the syllabus and in your live sessions. Uh, there is a textbook for the class. And uh, the textbook for the class will be most useful for the first half of the class, as many of the lectures will use a lot of the examples uh, from the textbook and uh, many of the problem sets may be drawn from the textbook. For the second half of the class, uh, the textbook will cover a lot of the same material, but the lectures will start diverging from it uh, more substantially. So I encourage you to keep up with readings during the class uh, to make certain that you uh, keep up to date on uh, where we are in the course.